how many of you guys, when you're growing up, you're just like, man, I want to be 21, or I want to be 18? Everyone, right? Well, I have a quote from Charlie Chan that states, waiting for tomorrow is a waste of today. Today, I will be talking about how we should live for now, have fun with it, and not take it for granted. So first, I'm going to be discussing how we should live for the now. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. If you take it for granted, you can lose everything in one sitting. From personal experience, I was maybe 10. We were living in Riverside and my parents got divorced and I was sulking, um, pissing and groaning and sitting in my room, making everyone suffer when I could have been out there helping them, helping them cope. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make everyone else suffer. And because of that, I hurt everyone in the process, and we were hindered, and we wasted that whole portion of time that I was making them suffer. Second, I will be talking about how we should have fun with today. So when we were all growing up, we would always be like, man, I want to be 18 already, and I want to be 21, I want to drink, I want to have fun, I want to party. Well, my birthday is in like five days. I'm going to be 18, and it's gone by fast, like really fast. It, I haven't had much fun with anything. Like, I'm, I've been successful more than anything. I have maybe four really close friends and they all moved away, so now I really don't have anyone that I'm super close with. So, because of that, I've been like focused on school more and trying to succeed and do better things, but I don't think I've had very much fun with all of this, but it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's better than other things. <laughs> My last point is not to waste it. Like I mentioned earlier, I was wasting the time that I had left with the portion of my family that I had. And because of that, I didn't have as many memories as I could have had when we were all living together. But I wasted it all, like everything. I had everything and then it was all gone in one second. And it, suck the next day. I've lived the past seven years without a huge portion of my family and it's hard. So in conclusion, don't waste today. Live life to the fullest and when you can't anymore, just you have the past to look back on. You're able to remember all the good memories you've had and all the bad ones, but the good ones will outweigh the bad in the long run you'll have more life left in you even when you think you don't. survey at the beginning was okay that worked pretty well there's a good clear thesis statement I thought you had a clear preview also the contents developed pretty soundly you've got some personal examples that you're using uh, you provide enough detail to make it interesting and relevant to the point that you're talking about sometimes it feels a little bit like you're wandering off on those topics and forgetting what the theme was that you had but uh, you usually get back to it and I thought you did especially well at that at the end of the speech reminding us what the
what the point was that you were trying to make and uh, finishing off gracefully. On the presentation issues, um, your voice projects fine. I think you could work a little bit more on the variety in the tone and the pitch in your voice. Sometimes I think you just get into a groove and you're sticking into that groove that's comfortable and you need a little bit of energy here or there, a little bit of punctuation to bring some points out and make it a little bit more interesting. Your pacing is... Um, Whenever, the, whenever you get stuck, you can tell because you slow down, you start slowing down. You don't quite come to a stop most of the time, but you can tell that you are thinking or you're hesitant because the rate at which you're speaking is uh, very distinct there. Uh, your facial expressions could be a little bit more animated, but your eye contact with the audience was excellent. And uh, I didn't see any obvious signs of anxiety, except uh, your gestures are a little bit limited. You basically grab your pinky and hold on to it for, with the other hand for 80% you know, of the speech. So I think you could be a little bit more engaged that way. All right, thank you.